All right, everyone, Maine has signed on to the uh, National Popular Vote Compact, which is at the point at this point non-binding for the most part. The uh, governor of Maine deciding to be a total and complete coward, and instead of either saying yay or nay to this, which is literally the governor's job, uh, you know, uh, I'll let it pass. I've seen arguments both for and against. I'm just not going to sign it. You know, it can pass without my signature. That's perfectly fine. Coward. Total coward. The national popular vote concept is a total grift. It's a terrible, terrible idea. It would effectively nullify the votes of hundreds of millions of Americans. And effectively, your, the President of the United States would only ever need to campaign in a handful of big cities in order to be elected. By the way, which party tends to benefit from that? I think that you know uh, exactly why this is happening. It's a grift. The Founding Fathers originally didn't even have uh, universal suffrage in mind. You had to have land in order to vote. We've, we've devolved away from the uh, sort of genteel republic that we originally were, for better and for worse. Of course, women couldn't vote. Black people in the country, they were all slaves, so they couldn't vote. You had to be gentry, effectively. You had to, to have land. You had to be landed gentry. Then they uh, converted it over and over. And the Senate originally wasn't even directly apportioned by a popular vote. Most people don't even know this. They never got taught this in school. The Senate originally, the senators in a state, were apportioned. They were, they were voted for by the, uh, by the House legislatures. The, 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 I mean, the state legislatures, the state house would vote on who they wanted to be senators. There was no popular vote for the senators originally. That changes uh, sometime later. Um, and, and again, for better or for worse, originally it was sort of a House of Lords style situation. Elected officials, yeah, but not elected directly. Um, and the Senate was considered to be more... It was closer to a European-style sort of parliamentary chamber. The U.S. House is basically a monkey cage, <laughs> and if that makes sense. My God, those Americans are experimenting with letting the common man have a vote? Insane, I do tell you. Hmm, indeed. Uh, we've become more directly democratic over time. This is caused. This is both good and bad. A national popular vote, though, effectively robs the voting power of every rural community within the country. It can do nothing else. What politician is going to waste their time going to a county with 10,000 people in it when they can just hit up New York City and gobble down votes in urban areas where more people are able to pack in at a time? It's more cost efficient in every single way. Effectively, what you're going to end up with is a politi uh, political bullshit where candidates, they spend their time in the cities. Occasionally, they'll go visit a farm. So all of your farms, so, so where all your food comes from, by the way, uh, where all your manufacturing happens and stuff like that, that's completely overlooked. The politicians will never have anything to do with those people. They'll simply mint proxies to go out there and pretend to care. And they'll give rural America the work over while promising things to them. I mean, they already do that kind of anyway, but even more because they won't even have to pretend to care at that point. Yeah, yeah, Donald Trump wouldn't bother to visit Vermont. What the hell is the point? Maybe you go to Burlington, but that's about it. You stop over there for an hour, give a brief speech, and then you fly back to Boston or something. Somewhere that matters. Effectively, you would be nullifying the votes of most Americans. Nobody will seek their votes. Nobody will seek to represent them. Not at the, at the federal level. It's a grift. I'm, I'm surprised that the people of Maine, which is a rural state by and large, would be willing to tolerate such a thing. And for the governor to pussy out and not even say yay or nay, I mean, that's a little bit odd now, isn't it? Well, do you support it or not? Instead, we get this long, ranting, meandering statement, well, I've listened to both sides of the argument. I think there are virtues and vices in the concept. I, uh, I understand the opinions, the nuance, the opinions people have given. But, uh, you know, I'll let it pass because I don't find it abhorrent, but I don't really support it either, so I'm not going to uh, veto it. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to sign it. It makes no sense. Pussification. National popular vote is a terrible idea. We should continue with the electoral system we currently have, which has worked well. Hey, liberals out there, you know, a black man got elected twice, you know, under this same system. And, and supposedly that was going to be impossible, you know, because the electoral college is a remnant of white racism or something like that. Very interesting. That wasn't that long ago, you know. I was already an adult at the time. Now I'm more uh, close to middle age than I am to my teens, unfortunately. I don't really care, but, um, you know, I can remember when that happened. 
Yeah, uh, the electoral system has been in its current form for a very, very long time. Sometimes you get a president you don't like, often because you're a partisan and a retard. Sometimes you get a president that you do like. It's just the way that things work. Some of it's happenstance. Some of it's, hey, some random October surprise happened or something like that. The Electoral College isn't responsible for that being a problem. The idea that the state's electors should go to voters in other states doesn't make any sense. So in other words, national popular vote style. Let's say Trump wins the popular vote. Are you saying that Maine's electors, even though Maine is likely to vote for Joe Biden, should go to Donald Trump? That's a terrible idea. And it could very well, by the way, happen. It would be very, very interesting if that would occur. I'm sure that Trump would find that very amusing. That's about all. Peace out.